Hello everybody, back here again for our vlog a day. Today is Wednesday the 13th, and today was a lovely, beautiful day to be alive. Got this morning fairly early. Dogs woke me up, which is good because I got up, had time to get them out, get them out in the yard and all that good fun stuff, and make sure they get their chance to be outside for a little bit before the roofing crew showed up and got them back in, got them fed, didn't really have the time to delay their feed and the noise making for my lovely bride to stay in bed as late as she wanted but she slept through it ironically so she slept through that um roofing crew got here um all the people i talked to the salespeople, the company and the guy delivering the dump truck so i had no idea what crew was showing up or what kind of how they would act and what kind of behavior they'd have and whatnot so i'm just relying on the company hopefully hiring good crews kind of thing so crew shows up in a very nice clean truck um, made me feel good about that newer but not new um, nice four-wheel truck four guys pop out and they start basically getting to work went out and checked on them went ahead and opened all the gates up for them and stuff talked to them a little bit uh, one dude basically was acting as a translator i think he's running the job he has three little guys below him that's how it's doing super respectful like they were right at it we kind of chat a little bit talking about the gates and stuff the dogs and whatnot they went to it and they started working and got to tearing off my old roof um they laid down all the tarps and stuff first they didn't have quite enough tarps to surround the whole house but they had the tarps in the big spots that are important so it did kind of crack me up a little bit they put a big tarp across my back patio which and they left other parts of my house open which i'm like oh the back patio is concrete you could have easily swept this up off here but could have put the tarp other parts of the house but Hey, it's their job, it's their crew, and we'll let them do it how they want. So they got there and started tearing the roof off and making lots of noise, which then, of course, my wife was awoke by that. So the dogs weren't real happy, but they were pretty gonna deal, kind of just deal with it. So went ahead, everything was good. Um, had a couple other things to take care of, kind of just chilling out, getting those guys going. And then they had a really cool technique when they were pulling the shingles off. Everybody at home, when they do roofing, they start at the top of the ridge and they take their pitchforks in there, their hay forks jab it under the things and fold it up and it slides on the roof and just keep doing that all the way down to the bottom they make this giant pile of mess at the bottom of the house in the yard then you go back and they have to shovel it all up and break it up and they're stepping on nails and all kinds of crazy stuff all the time these guys didn't do that they had a guy come around with a fork pitch pitchfork and start at the bottom the drip edge of the roof and then basically as they were going he would just stick up the length of the pitchfork and pry it up not all the way off just pry it up loose and then he'd work his way off the ridge line, go back down, just kept doing that over and over again, and popped all the shingles loose in the whole house. And then another guy came in behind him and grabbed the bottom one, picked it up, smacked it so it broke off. So one three tab shingle at a time, stacked him upon his feet into about a bundle's worth, threw him over his shoulder, walked the entire length of the house, all the way over, and threw it off my garage into the dumpster, which was super slick. Has to save much time because they're going to be fork left because basically you figure the one guy with a pitchfork would have had to scrape it all down another guy would have came by with a pitchfork to scoop it up put it in a dumpster in a, like a uh, wheelbarrow another guy didn't have to wheel that wheelbarrow around to the dumpster then pick it all back up out of the dumpster the fork pitch pitchfork again and throw it up over their shoulder into the dumpster which this is way faster and holy crap way cleaner like it was amazing how little debris hit my ground around the house i was super excited they even put like a screen cover over top of my air conditioner which is awesome just a big piece of window screen with some two by fours on it draped over the air conditioner and stuff just super respectful of the 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 house and everything like it was i was super excited about it they had a radio going which i didn't mind but it was it was loud but it wasn't like blaring loudly like, it was quieter in my own yard i walked around the house stuff looking at things it was quieter than the crew that did the house four houses away from me their radio was so loud in my yard that I couldn't hear my iPad. And these guys right there, and I could hear my iPad in my own yard. So their radio was much more respectful, just a whole different. It was just so much better. So super stoked about how well they did. Uh, they basically busted about the morning and it's getting mid mid morning, kind of late morning, I guess. There's a little bit of storm kind of rolling in and they had that weird concept. One of the things they found is they were tearing off. They got to the point where there was one spot where I'm assuming the roof had a problem and it rotted out some plywood. And I was like, oh crap, that sucks. But the contract that I signed gave me one free sheet of plywood, which I don't care about that. And But they had to, they didn't have any plywood there, so they had to wait for the guy to bring it to them. So they kind of got 
stuck for the day. They were kind of dead in the water of working, I guess, for lack of a better term. So they tarped everything back over because the storm was coming. And they basically had that to do. They took their lunch break. Um, I'd take Karen up to physical therapy. So I ran up there. And as I was leaving the house to go to physical therapy, actually right before that, I had two little pussy dropping the dog off. And I was like, it was that weird time frame for physical therapy. And like dropping the dog off kind of fell in that weird. I was like, I hope they get here soon because if not, I'm going to tell them they got to wait because they were supposed to have been here two hours ago, kind of, and they're never on time. So luckily the guy here dropped the dog off. Dogs are all getting along great. Everything's fine there. But when I had another dog getting picked up, as I was literally leaving the house, I pushed my wife out with a wheelchair over top of this, you know, tarps full of nails and stuff. So I'm pushing out. The client texted, hey, we're at Chick-fil-A and I want to know what time you pick the dog up. And I'm like, well, if you're still at Chick-fil-A, I'll bring her to you because I'm taking my wife to the physical therapy. I go right by there. And she goes, well, actually, you already left. I'm like, well, then you're not at Chick-fil-A, but whatever. So I said, well, best I can do for you is I'll call you when I get back and you can come by and pick the dog up. She goes, absolutely, no problem. So normally she gives me a much better heads up than that, and she didn't this time. So, But she went ahead and um, went and dropped my wife off to physical therapy. Did not bother going in because it's I've been in that place before. It's kind of a weird layout. The rooms they work in are really small. So it wasn't like I could really be there in the waiting room. It's horrendous. I don't feel like sitting in the waiting room for an hour. There's nothing to do. So ran back home, um, called the owner, told her to come pick her dog up. She came and picked the dog up. We chatted a little bit. Everything was good there. And then uh, hung out for the, not quite an hour, but close to an hour. Was, actually, probably about 35 minutes, all it really was. But I had to get back and stuff. I had to go back up to meet my wife. So ran up there on the way. I stopped at the liquor store. Um, bought three different kinds of booze to give the guys the crew i saw they had some like the breaks iced tea in their cooler they were drinking so lipton makes a hard iced tea now so i got a 12 pack of that got some different i guess back of our term mexican beers asked me so what's a mexican roofing crew drinking nowadays like i assume you guys are selling a lot more of this than i do so they recommended me get a couple different ones so i got three different kinds of beer booze went back through the cooler told me to have it and we're good to go there and then picked my wife up from there headed back home got her put away she ended up laying down and she ended up napping ironically enough while these guys were up on the roof banging away and just oh i don't know how she did it it was pretty impressive that she could sleep through that but just tells you how much this physical therapy and this injury has really taken so much out of her it's just i feel bad for her so but she got that done she got a little nap in there um hung around just kind of walking the dogs on leash all day i gotta take them out they're gonna go back, put them back inside, so on and so forth, and just when they're in house, they're just they're always on edge today because they're, they're banging on the top of my house. So kind of as we expected, but it is what it is. I would have normally just taken them across the street, hung out in my other backyard, but I didn't because the fact that my wife needs my help, needs to get up and stuff, and then I have that weird concept. I don't feel safe leaving that yard unattended. And I haven't watched, I haven't walked that fence line enough to really trust it. Didn't, I haven't been there for a year. And I don't trust that fence line that much anymore. So I can be there with them. I'd watch them, it's fine, but not unattended. So if she needed me to, to get her, you know, help, whatever, had to load up all the dogs, bring them all back across the street, get them put away in the house stuff, and help her. And it's just too far away. So just kind of let them deal with it in my place. And everything was good to go there. So but yeah, we hung out. Um, they came and picked up the one dog finally, which was fine. Um, they're much better at picking up the dog because the the owner's mother picks up the dog her son drops off the dog and the mother's much more on time than the son is so and it was funny because they always bring a harness they never not bring a harness it's always they got a collar on and a harness both and bring the dog in a harness which today i'm gonna walk in the dog all the time and all they bring me was just the collar and never even thought to tell them to make sure they bring a harness today because they've always done it so why would i think to tell them to bring a harness that it's always there so kind of a kind of cracked me up in that process but we chilled out there that dog went home uh, so now anything left is just the little pit bull and bruce so i went for my run got my run in came back home ended up getting my shower for the crew left to go there wrapping up for the day and they had the house basically dried in um they'd taken out my skylight had not put the new skylight back in yet but they had it covered up with the felt paper whatever you want to call it the um, house wrap for the roofing so they had it all done and basically it sounds like they're waiting for the city to come by um, inspection to verify things sign off on the permit prove the length of nails are using so on and so forth whatever and just a money grab is all it is so they i guess they can do up to 25 percent of the roof 
before they get there. So they're gonna start again in the morning, like 7 a.m. They said they'll get started on the house and go from there. I told them I said if it's you know if it's starting at seven, because that's what the city allows. That's fine. If you want to start early, if the city allows you, or if I get in trouble, start at midnight. I don't give a shit. Like it's hot out there. So if you guys got headlamps, work through the night and not be out here in the dead sun. It's just ridiculous. So. But yeah, they basically, that's where we wrapped up there. I went ahead and got my shower to my run. Um, the house is looking good. They can. They picked up all of the um, tarps and stuff. They went through, magnetized everything, picked up all the screws and stuff, and nails, and did a great job. I found two nails. I didn't go looking. I just, as I was walking by, saw two nails, which is nothing compared to some of the ones I've had before. I got a roof done in Iowa on a house half this size and was stupid expensive. I didn't need shooting work. I didn't need much work. And I was finding. I bet I found 150 nails out of there over like six weeks. I'm still finding nails. It's ridiculous. So this has been way, way better. So super happy with the crew and got after my shower, had some dinner. My wife and mother ended up eating chili dogs. My wife loves chili dogs. Can't stand hot dogs. So did not do that. But I had leftover pork loin and the potatoes and whatnot. So watched a little bit of TV, headed back outside, and then I could have the gates all shut up so I could let the dogs run loose in the yard again. And they seem to really enjoy that. So yeah, that's kind of interesting the little house. They dropped in a little double wide right there. And this is a running slash biking trail that will eventually run from like Keys all the way to New York. But that's your front yard looking around this trail. But not gonna live there. I definitely want to live there. I would definitely want, because this whole lot was full of trees. Before I left a handful of trees there to kind of create a little bit of a privacy block out my front door into a public running trail that has people on it, especially on the weekends. This thing is constantly packed with people. Would not want that much traffic in front of my house, but hey, we got our own choices. So but yeah, chilled out in the evening, had myself a beautiful cigar and wrapped it up all the night. So that's all I got for now. We'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.